Do you ever get sick of them? Is that no, a stupid question? No, yeah. not at all. Some, some performers say, I'm sick. I, I, I've gone on from there. I've done new things, and I don't want to be no, constantly no, singing I, the same songs. I, I love singing the songs, you know, as I've always said. They're like, especially if I've written them, they're like my children. Yeah. So, it's so fun to see Rod Stewart and Cindy Lauper sitting right across from us, by the way. Rod, <laughs> you've sold over 200 million records. Probably knows that. Two time <laughs> Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, has been newly knighted. Yeah. Sir Rod, well, it and, is. And what was that and like? I bought it with me. Oh, you did? Yeah. Wait a minute. I thought you'd be interested. Let's see. Now, can you get through <gasps> security in the airport with that baby on? Oh, it's only a bit of tin. But... <laughs> oh, my Congratulations. gosh. Congratulations. And can we introduce Cindy real quick? Cindy won a Grammy, an Emmy, a Tony, wrote the original score for the musical Kinky Boots, a best-selling author, too. And now, oh, these... and, and mother to Gordy. Gordy. <laughs> no, mother to Declan. Dad. I know, but when your mother did both of them. He would, no, he would be insulted. Oh, okay. And my husband says constantly, it's not our son. <laughs> About the dog? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you two are joining forces, two powerhouses like you. How did this come to be? This would you like to answer that one? Because I've got no idea. <laughs> they, called, they called me, and, and, and Ron Delsner, I met him someplace, and he said, you know, you and Rod are touring this summer. I said, we are? <laughs> and I said, OK. That's you Ron know. Delsner. And, yeah. and for me, honestly, and uh, not to make you feel funny, but I always, you know, look, it's like a bucket list thing. And I'm trying to do everything that I didn't do. And, huh. and singing with <laughs> this guy here, Sir Rod, <laughs> is a big deal huh. to me. Wow. Because, you know, when I started, I was singing his songs. Yeah, I sure. was I was in the shower trying to squeeze my voice together so that I could sound like him. Because nobody sounded like him. No, nobody so nobody unique. Still nobody does. still nobody and, does yet. And the fact that he has longevity and that uh -huh. he's a real musician and that he really is committed, it's it's kind of great. He said something to me yesterday because he did that wonderful songbook al album yeah. that sold so much it's stupid, <laughs> you know. <laughs> And he said, I said, you know, I never, they wanted me to do a songbook, but I couldn't sing those songs because I felt like I would sound terrible, not as good as yeah. the people. So I sang other things. Yeah. Oh, no, well, but done he, okay, though, honey. No, but he told me, he said, it's a song that you grew up with that's in your heart that you know, and that's mm -hmm. what you sing from. So that's obviously. Because I only did those American songbooks as um, a work of love. Was it Clive parents. Davis that asked you to do those? Well, it was always in my mind, but uh -huh. Clive Davis yeah. brought everything together. Right. Mm -hmm. Dear old Clive. I've seen Clive this weekend. Yes. Um, so, but they did sell extraordinarily well, much to my surprise. It's funny to read when you look back to when you were just a little kid and how you had like a school teacher who was trying to embarrass you and have you sing in front of people when you didn't know or realize that you were a singer at the time mm. and that you didn't you did just it like to embarrass you. Yeah, right. did to embarrass you. Did Bastard. you write a book? <laughs> Did you write a book? I actually tried to find him about 20 years you ago and go and beat the out. Did you, you're not allowed to say that word. Did well, you? Live out. No, he did. He, 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 actually, we're live, but thanks. That's great. <laughs> so, but wait, but minus the words. Tell, yeah. me, tell us what happened. No, it actually happened because he knew I was... I was terrified of singing. I was one of the kids in the class that really couldn't handle it. Even standing in front of the class, yeah. I couldn't handle it. So he would pick on me. Stuart, come here, lad. Stand in front of the class and sing. <laughs> and then, well, oh. look, look what I, happened. I, 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 I was literally nearly sick. You know. Wow. But but you I managed great... to turn it all around. You had a great <laughs> voice then, too. No, I didn't have a voice. I mean, I did it took not time. have a voice. Yeah. It took time. You That's two amazing. on the road. When do you guys hit the road? When July. does it start? July? July 6th, I think. You guys and are going to. Where are you going to be? All over the country? All over? Uh, mostly on the East Coast, isn't it? I think. Well, I don't know. Ask Ron Delsner. <laughs> He'll let you know. Someone now, back there you know. Did you write a book about your life? Yeah, it's called Rod. <laughs> no, really? Are you kidding? Yeah. That's what, yeah, right. it's called oh, Rod. They're going to say Yeah, we're not goodness. leaving. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.